Being a victim of your past is the worst thing you can possibly do. What you can do is take that experience, take the lesson from it, and then extract it. Basically replace your memories and create fake memories to identify with this version so that you can go on the path of that for your future. Your emotions are the key to everything. If you experience it in your mind first, your body doesn't know the difference because in your mind, if you're feeling those emotions, it's like it's actually happening for you. So you can... Hey guys, welcome to Self Care Sundays with Sophia, where we talk about self-love, self-growth, and everything in between. Today's video, we are gonna be talking about how to basically rewrite the past so that you can serve your future and be happy in the moment. I love this topic because your body does not know the difference. As long as you're feeling the emotions as the thing that you want to attract, it's like it's actually happening. There's been so many studies where People say if it's like a sporting thing, for example, they visualize, athletes do this all the time, they visualize in their mind winning the game, feeling the emotions of how it would feel to win that, and they just win because there's like actual studies that show if you experience it in your mind first, your body doesn't know the difference because in your mind, if you're feeling those emotions, it's like it's actually happening for you. So you can pretty much manifest anything you want by hacking that system. Now, I was actually watching a video on this topic recently and it kind of inspired me to do this video, but I kind of had a light bulb moment where I thought to myself, um, my life, I ultimately I don't really have any regrets because I'm happy with where I am now and I'm grateful and I had to go through all those things to get to the now. But obviously there are some moments, some things in my life that happened where it's like, okay, I regret or I failed at that. And I, I mean, again, I'm grateful because I'm here now, but it would be interesting to see if that thing worked out for me because to this day, yeah, I wish I succeeded at that or, oh, I wish I got that or I didn't fail at that. You know what I mean? I keep going back in circles because it's like, again, I know regrets, but um, it's fun to think of how my life would have turned out if I got this thing. So I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, imagine if I were to look back at that thing that I wish I succeeded at and imagine if for just for an exercise for myself, imagine how I would feel if I did get that thing or I succeeded at that thing. And then I thought to myself, okay, now what I should do is journal the characteristics of what that version of me would be like and really feel what it would feel like if I succeeded at that thing. And I thought it was a really good exercise because um, essentially with the past, there's so many videos that say how the past isn't real. Like the only thing that's real is right now. The future isn't real. The past isn't real. Only right now is the only thing that's real and happening to us. So we can actually rewrite our past to however we want. The way we function in life is usually kind of on autopilot and it's like a program in our mind. It's just like a compilation of all the things you've done in the past. That's how we survive is, okay, how do I make coffee? You remember how you did it the last 100 days of your life. You know what I mean? So we're on a, a program essentially. So when you have those failures or just, or maybe even something that never even happened. And let's say you want your life to go in a certain direction, but uh, you needed to go to school for all these years, or it really would have helped if you had this type of upbringing or if you were surrounded by these people or let's say you go to the gym every day or something like that. The point is you can actually basically replace your memories and create fake memories to identify with this version so that you can go on the path of that for your future. Okay, so let's say there's somebody that wants to get started on social media, becoming an influencer, whether it's Instagram, TikTok or any type of platform and they have no following, they've never done it, no experience, but they really wanna try and pursue that. So what they could do is, yeah, basically act like an influencer. So what would an influencer do when they wake up in the morning? Well, they'd probably plan out their schedule, see what things they need to shoot, look at the weather, and download one of those apps where you can plan out your feed, plan your outfits, and which days to shoot what, and you just start shooting, even if you didn't have any paid deals or even any gifted collabs, you would just start shooting with what you have because that's what an influencer does. 
So planning your life around that and just starting to do the things that they would do is a great way to just hop into that. And the more you do that, you eventually probably will gain a following. Brands will recognize what you're doing. Maybe you'll get offered some freebies and eventually you'll get some paid deals. So that's just a small example of things that you can do. I have been really big on affirmations lately and I've kind of tried to rewire my brain that way. I have a certain financial goal that I'd like to make per month. And for the past, it's probably been like a month, maybe two months now, or yeah, maybe just almost two months. I've been morning and night, I've been looking at myself in the mirror and saying it about five to 10 times, I make X amount of money every single month. And then I throw in another couple of random affirmations that match that. And the big difference here, and I've actually noticed this because my one of my January resolutions have been to meditate every day. So I've been more present, but I've really noticed that I've been able to emotionally feel it more because you know how when you just kind of say it, you don't really feel it. The whole point is actually feeling it. So I've had a few moments where I've pictured a life of me actually making that amount of money per month. And I fully got excited. And like, as I was saying in the mirror, I was just like, oh, what a relief. Like, okay, it's all going to be okay because I now make that much and I can travel wherever I want, do whatever I want in life and achieve every single goal that I want. And the few, the things that I'm trying to manifest, they'll come to me because I have the financial means to do that abundantly. So it's been really exciting to, I've actually like, the thing is too, is the main thing is feeling calm and like happy and grateful and in the moment, the whole the whole rules of manifesting and all that is how you feel. So it's made me feel very secure, very reassured, and that are the traits of somebody that would make that dollar figure a month. That's probably how they would feel. They would definitely feel very secure. They'd feel very excited because they'd probably have lots of trips going on. They'd be able to do lots of cool opportunities. And there's more things that I'm trying to manifest and more affirmations that I'm doing every day. But I've really noticed with meditation, I've been able to be present and actually get excited about it. And it's like I'm reassuring myself. I'm like, oh, thank God. Okay, I'm, I, I make that much a month. So it's all good. I don't have to worry. You know what I mean? And there's definitely been times in my life where I've been in the financial spot I'm in now. And the old version of me, even though like I have a safety net, I'm good for a bit. I just, I think right now or lately, like I, I used to, my month would grow every, my bank account would grow every month. And now I'm kind of um, spending more than I make, which I've been working on adjusting that. But I I know that it's going to be okay. And the old version of me would panic, but like I have lots of money in the bank. I'm fine. There's no need to worry just because for a period there I was cruising and now I'm kind of, you know, I got to adjust my spending a bit. Um, it's going to be okay. And I have that affirmation and I'm I'm actually putting in the work and I'm doing things and I've taken on a bunch of new brand deals on Instagram, which I took a big break because I was doing my Snapchat show. I'm pursuing this YouTube channel, which makes me feel good. Obviously I'm not making money yet, but it makes me feel good, makes me feel complete. And I am just doing things to work towards my goals. And even with fitness, I'm cooking good, I'm balanced, I'm doing all of my self-care stuff and it just feels good. And I think that's the goal of life is to feel good in the way that you're going to manifest anything and hop into another timeline of your life is by feeling good. Something that is really, really important is to let go of the stories you've been telling yourself just because they're comfortable, just because it's like an autopilot thing. Everybody has beliefs about themselves and who's to say that it's true life is all about perception you are what you believe you are right so a very important thing is to let go of those stories that you've been telling yourself just because it's comfortable and you know, you know change isn't comfortable the best sign in life is if you're feeling uncomfortable from some type of change or something feels different that's such a great sign it means you're shifting on a different path of life instead of just going straight and nothing if something feels different that's a good sign because it means you're curving left or right and something new is gonna happen. Nothing changes if nothing changes. That's one of my favorite quotes of all time because it's so true. I spent years trying to manifest and dream my things to come to me, but I wasn't putting one foot in front of the other. And then I finally realized, okay, yeah, I gotta get up and do something. Nothing changes if nothing changes. So get moving and create the dream life. You really have to start embodying the characteristics too of that version that you wanna become because again, 
if you don't start acting that way, then you're not going to become it. You can't just do the same things you've been doing and wish that something will just fall on your lap and a new timeline will appear. You have to hop into that new timeline. So not reminiscing on things that happened in the past or sulking in old failures or identifying with stuff that happened before, because that's no longer you. That's not real anymore. You're heading into the direction of the type of life that you want to achieve. So again, writing out lists of what that person, what those characteristics would be like and just start acting that way. You know what I mean? Some of the most delusional people become the most successful because they just believe that they can do something. They start acting that way and they eventually morph into that timeline because how else are you going to do it? You know what I mean? It's like when people go from like when they change their life super drastically, you have to do something extreme like that. If you want big results, you got to do big things. So you can't just like very slowly, you know, move along and hope that a new opportunity will come. You got to go get those opportunities. You got to make stuff happen. I was watching this other YouTuber and they were doing like a new, a yearly manifestation sort of vision board thing. And they were, I noticed that they're very proactive in actually getting shit done. And I think the older we get, the more we get stuck in our ways. And this particular YouTuber, she's a lot younger and she's obviously a lot more driven. And that was something that I was like, okay, that's very inspirational because a lot of the times I'll have to-do lists and things that I need to do and it'll be on there for like weeks at a time and I don't actually get it done. But the faster you do stuff, the faster you can shift and keep moving towards stuff you actually want to accomplish. And every time you achieve something, whether it's something as small as organizing your closet or doing something like that, you're going to be moving forward and it's going to bring in new energy. So staying in the same place is not a good thing at all. We don't want to stay in the same place unless you're happy with the way life is going and this is what you want. But obviously I'm assuming that you have dreams and you have goals and you want to move forward. So the way to move forward is by getting shit done. I think just being really aware of how you feel too and the people in your life and the stuff that you do on a daily basis is so important because that's what's going to eventually get you. Th that's the recipe for your life is what does your daily routine look like? Are you working towards actually achieving these things? I went to this life retreat once and they were saying kind of similar to this, like rewriting your past, they would call it recycling. So Let's say, yeah, I, I basically already said this at the beginning of the video, but something that didn't go your way in life, something that happened and didn't go your way in your life, or let's say you didn't feel loved or something, all you have to do is think of that memory again. Let's say it's like, okay, you had a soccer game and you looked and your parents didn't come or something like that. Go back to that experience as a little kid and look to the crowd and see your mom and dad there and feel how good it would feel to have them there. And then that's how you can kind of like change your past and live your life and move forward and recycle that experience, you know, you know, basically shift your past into the version of you that the parents did show up for you so that you can start embodying a person who their parents love them. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's a weird example. But let's say it's even something last week, you had a presentation at work, or you had something small like that let's say it's a, even a social thing and it didn't go your way reliving that experience and imagining it going the other way and feeling really good about how it went identify with somebody who always succeeds who always wins who's confident in themselves and has no regrets that's a really good place to be because if you don't believe in yourself nobody else is going to believing in yourself is the number one key to moving forward because you can't expect other people to hold your bases and and push you give you a push forward you got to push yourself forward you got to believe in yourself put in the work and if you're like oh I don't, I don't know then you're gonna stumble like it's like a a ladder that has wobbly legs you're gonna wobble and fall over if you don't believe in yourself you need to have solid steel legs so you can walk across and march and accomplish everything you want to accomplish because you determine your life and if you want to keep living in the past and identifying with that old version of you that fails and sucks and doesn't believe in themselves and whines and complains and is negative, 
be my guest, but you're going to stay in the same place. You're actually probably will get worse because you're just going to keep reaffirming that and you're going to make that personality trait even stronger. Joe Dispenza says how something starts off as a mood, then it starts, turns into a temperament, then it turns into a personality trait, and then you're screwed. So if something bad happens, sure, feel it out and ride the emotions, but you can't get stuck there and you can't let it define you. I had something that happened in my life where it really, really broke me down and it started to become a part of my identity. And I was down so low that it was really hard for me to pull myself out of that and rewire myself into becoming somebody that believes in myself and thinks I'm amazing and is confident. It took a lot of years and that was obviously when I was younger, but you can, you can have a bad experience and you can really let it become a part of who you are. You can become a bitter person. You become an angry victim. Everybody goes through that. And I think the power is just recognizing when to stop feeling the emotions because you know what? Life isn't fair. The faster you learn that life isn't fair, the faster you're going to be able to move forward. Being a victim of your past is the worst thing you can possibly do. What you can do is take that experience, take the lesson from it, and then extract it and re-identify, make a new past. Basically, like, don't bring with you the negative emotions from the past. Take the lessons, but leave the negative emotion behind. The goal is to feel good in the now. The future doesn't matter either. There's a famous uh, quote that says, if you live in the past, you'll be depressed. If you live in the future, that means you'll have anxiety. So the only place to be is right now, here in the now, because this is the only thing that exists is right now. Even two seconds ago, that's not real anymore. It, like, so that's why it's so exciting that you can start shifting your life onto a different trail and there's thousands of versions of you. There's a Sophia in another universe that's a doctor. There's a Sophia that's a superstar. There's a Sophia that is, you know, addicted and homeless. There's so many different versions of me. So if I just choose exactly what I want to do and get very specific about the things that I want to happen, I just got to start acting like that person. I just got to start feeling the emotions of what that version of me would feel like. Your mind is a very powerful thing and the faster you understand that your emotions are the key to everything, the faster you're going to have an abundant life. So if you have a hard time with your emotions, I would suggest meditation. You can get more present in the moment and focus on what matters right now because all we have is the now, the past and the future. We can't guarantee the future and the past is no longer real. So your best bet is to focus on now, write out a list of all your goals and dreams and start embodying that person. Anyway, I hope this video inspired you and I hope that you can leave what's negative in the past, take the lesson and be happy in the moment so that you can attract an abundant future and live your best life. My name is Sophia. You can find me on all my social medias at Sophia Pearson. Thank you for watching Self Care Sundays with Sophia. Bye.